Hey guys, I wanted to share a video with you on a gun show I attended recently. This one was located in South Carolina. The uh, sign you see here, they're pretty strict on their dress code. I thought that was quite interesting. And of course you have the normal rules of any gun show. That's what the sound was like throughout the show. You had quite a few AR-15 parts. Lots of different handguns. Lots of scopes. Most of these are the Chinese made variant. This 32 Ruger was quite a piece of work. I really like that. I like this American flag pistol. I thought this polymer receiver tool was interesting. You did have some junk there, such as these handmade soaps. Some nice Walthers and various other older firearms. These guys had a couple of rifles I thought were quite interesting. There is a mini Carcano, here it is, it's in 22 long rifle and pictures don't do it justice, it's really neat. This next rifle, the action was quite interesting on, and I meant, intended to remember what it was, but unfortunately I didn't, and I should have written it down. Just looking through the different... Sh looking through the different aisles here. Some nice AR-15s. Did have some Native American things here. More handguns. Whenever I go to a gun show, I always hope to find one or two special items I don't see at most shows. And this one actually did not fail. They'll be coming up. I really like this older Smith here. Quite a few rifles of various kinds. They were selling Ruger boxes. They were empty boxes for $6. Quite a bit of powder at this show. Some arrowheads. Just old stuff that uh, people are selling. Pork rinds. Some older reloading stuff. That was quite interesting. I dug through the dyes but didn't find anything. They had some nice little desserts there for sale in a snack bar. Quite a bit of ammunition. Of course the prices were relatively high. I was looking for some CCI semi automatic suppressor but I did not find any. More ammunition. These target holders for cans were quite interesting. I really like that. It's just a simple uh, hook that you can put various things on. I like that. Some different body armor. And here we go at one of the things that was really, really nice. So they had two Japanese matchlocks original. And these things are gorgeous. The man selling them, actually he wasn't selling them, the man displaying them actually took them apart for me and I wish I had videoed that but I didn't think about it at the time. But the uh, way that these things work are just, it's ingenious. These were from the 1700s is what he figured. You see the different chrysanthemums, different engravings on them silver inlay here on the barrel. The match cord actually goes through the stock which is unusual compared to English match, match locks. And both of them had a match lock snuffer built into the stock for putting out the match cord. That's something quite different. 
we had more ARs. This actually ended up being a uh, pellet gun or something. I thought it was interesting, but then I realized it wasn't what I thought it was. Different handguns, some old military rifles. Nice O3 Springfield there. Got the Heritage Rancher. And this is some obsolete ammo. They had quite a bit of it and very good prices on it. Just more options here. More scopes. Red dots. You did have someone selling the fuel filters down on this end of the show that uh, you could potentially modify into a suppressor. Things I've seen on that, I don't recommend it. Plus there's quite a few legalities to consider. Some surplus military gear. I thought the paint job on this Glock stock was quite interesting. Just looking around the show. Quite a few knives. Different pocket knives and such. This case hardened 1911 was gorgeous and I hate that I didn't get it in focus better. It carried a pretty steep price tag too. More rifles, older rifles, shotguns. I'd like to get a nylon, Remington Nylon 22, so I did look at this one a little close. I want one of the nickel plated ones though. Then we had a vendor selling some targets. And I actually did buy something from these folks. They had quite an assortment of different targets for sale. Got some steel targets. Stick on targets, paper, just a wide range of different targets that they were offering. Then they also had these neat cups for sale. And here's the two things that I ended up walking out of the show with I got some ammunition in a 22 caliber T-Rex target and the ammunition I got was obsolete at 7BR. You don't find that very often and it was a great price. Thank you for watching.